with the toss. And again, watches all the tape he can. Tim Spencer, their running back coach, says the hardest working player he has coached. Probably the hardest worker on this team. They want him to continue to play today. They don't know how long he'll be able to go. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on him. Here's George on first and ten. Busting one out to the outside. And Eddie George. Eddie George is the deep back. The Irish show a four-man defensive front. George with the ball over the left side. He finds daylight. He finds the first down. Well, from behind the defense, they're going to pull the tackle. That's Golston, number 50. A little misdirection, and Eddie George is not touched until he's about eight or nine yards downfield. The ball at the 28-yard line of Notre Dame. Eddie George with some daylight on the left side. Stuttered a little bit. It's third down and one for Ohio State. One and a half is the proof of it. More than one. This is Eddie George turning the corner. From behind the defense, number 75, Orlando Pace, right there on Cobbins, going to get a nice block. <laughs> Eddie George and Matt Calhoun, first You down. mean the bonfire last night. <laughs> yeah, from the 20-yard line. Eddie George. Number 75, 72 is Sumner. Is that Dudley? Yeah, number 80, the tight end. Now watch, is he just going to outrun some guys? Covington is 14, McGee is 17, and it takes a while for them to catch up. Eddie George. Touchdown. Take a look from behind Eddie George. He's going to stutter for a second, slides over a hole, run over McGee, number 17. George again. He's got the first down. And he's going to run in behind big old Orlando Pace. Now the Buckeyes will try to kill the clock as George veers outside. Fun. No, I haven't had it done, but I've had a lot of C6 calls. Eddie George. It's on the other side of midfield. He's got 207 yards on 32 carries. It's George. And Eddie George is out to the 30. Matt Calhoun checks in at fullback, leading the blocking for Eddie George, and he bounces outside and goes for 10, 11, 12, maybe 13 yards. Another first down. Watch, Keith, the offensive lineman as uh, Sumner, 72, the left guard, and Pace, 75. They had a little game there, and the two linemen recovered. Nice move. And we're just starting the third quarter. It's on the Penn State 40 first down. This is Eddie Gore. Right into the center. Oh, oh the throw. Turned the ball loose, and Penn State's got it. Are well, they going to call him down? It's close. There's Pace, number... 75 doing a little holding on Killens. He's going to cut inside. Watch your number three. Lying with the pitch to Eddie George coming near side. He is down near the goal line. Touchdown, Ohio State. We did not play a first team football player one play in the second half. Ohio State looked like a video game. And they're moving the ball extremely well on the ground, Dick. They're blocking that front beautifully. Now here's your basic eye formation. George left side. And again, he makes the most of it. Press the run. George to the left, just steps outside. Tillman throwing a block for the Wildcats on the road at Purdue. The handoff by Hoynes to George in a foot race, and he gets away. George is gone. Eddie George putting up more Heisman Trophy numbers. <laughs> uh, they're not very well. <laughs> Fourth down now. And George slants, first down, 25. Bobby Hoyne bringing that clock down again. Going to snap it at two seconds. Oh, nice. Here George. Hello, 300. They hand it out to Eddie George. Gets a good block. 
cuts it inside and he's brought down. Take a look at Orlando Pace now. The big left tackle working on Glenn Steele. He gets his hands to the inside and then drives the legs. That's why Orlando Pace can be a dominating blocker. The Ohio State Buckeyes opened the 1996 season in surprisingly forceful fashion, blasting their two opponents by a combined score of 142 to 7. A few mistakes, quite frankly, against Houston and still lost in overtime in their last outing. So they know they have to be flawless in this game, and this will be Pepe Pearson for another touchdown. Pearson the tailback. Hauser, a third tight end in motion. Pepe Pearson, left side touchdown. The three as he goes off that left side. Into the end zone, 35 to nothing, Buckeyes. I think you need two in the Big Ten. Second and three, Jackson on the keep this time. Stanley Jackson heading to the sideline and out. Pearson's carried seven times now for 24 yards. Here he is again. Pepe Pearson breaks three tackles. He's to the 40 and another Ohio State first down. And you just mentioned Orlando Pace at 6'5", 6'6", 340. He pulls. Look at him. Watch him out here. Watch what he does. Pulls, goes up through the hole. Watch his block. Man, just pulls the linebacker Cobbins back on his back. Buckeye defense. Get big Orlando Pace back on the field in this short yardage situation. Some of those uh, Notre Dame offensive linemen look up and they'll think that eclipse was uh, two days late. <laughs> Denson spins for it. Again, the Ohio State defensive line stands him up, stands him up good. Orlando Pace gets pancake. He's used to being the pancaker. <laughs> Pearson. He has the first down. Lyons shuffle around, put a five-man front up there. Nobody is coming. Pepe Pearson. 19 seconds left to go, first quarter. Pepe Pearson breaks a tackle. Pepe Pearson, the cut inside the five, down to the three. The tackles are over now, Raj. Two big tackles side by side, top of your screen. On second oh. and two, and that's where Pepe Pearson's running. And look at that hole right there. As he gets to the 49-yard line, they took Orlando Pace and put him over on the right side. And Holy that's just a macro. steamroller. Holy mackerel. Here they are. Two big tackles coming off the ball. Then the motion man kicking out. They just have too much beat there. Bang. Now look at Orlando. 75. He gets locks on right there. There's a good kick out block there. A lot of room. They're going to have to slide the defense over. Now they're going to end over with a wide receiver coming over. On first and 10, 49-yard line. That's Montgomery. Breaks a tackle. Montgomery breaks another tackle. Montgomery's got room down the sideline. Cuts it back in. Down at the one. And then they get some great blocks downfield by Big 75. He, you know, he blocks on the line of scrimmage and downfield. Look at him looking around. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that would be like a bus. <laughs> well, he's holding on there a little bit, too, isn't he? <laughs> Is he holding on a little bit? There ought to be a law against that. <laughs> First and goal, one yard line. Montgomery, the deep back. We're going to let him finish it off. Touchdown, Ohio State. Well, they ought to give the touchdown to Matt Calhoun and Orlando Pace because Orlando Pace, that's a, probably the first running touchdown a long time and would have scored right behind him. And he, he's running downfield, chasing a little defensive back. He's a bully. That's what he is. He's a bully. Well, that was down. D. Miller in motion to the top of your screen. Montgomery trying the left side. He's got blockers out in front. Montgomery, 34-yard line. The tackles are on the right side. They give it to Montgomery. Look at the hole. And look at him go. Montgomery across midfield to the 46-yard line. <laughs> All right, Jack. Thanks. First and 10, 46-yard line as the handoff goes to Montgomery again on the right side. A very tough spot for Jackson. Coming out from the Buckeyes' three-yard line. The hand is to Pearson. Bust oh, loose. He's got the yard line. He's free. Sauer in a foot race has the angle. And he pushes him out of bounds. <laughs> Good lead block by the fullback, not a dominating block, not the reason they broke the play. Good running right there. They blitzed from the outside. He ran through some arms. He has excellent speed. They say he's the fastest tailback they've had there in years. He demonstrates it right here on this run. I don't know how Orlando Pace looks in green, but the New York Jets have to think about this man as number one as he catches a defense stunting and he buries the lineman on that side. I know. It. And the other thing you don't want to do is stand up in front of it. <laughs>